Hey guys, welcome to another one of our videos. I'm Owen, this is the problem. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing a new Nova tank from Smock. Smock Tech. Smock Tech. It's called Smock Shop. Smock, well, it's from Smock, tech, Smock Shop, but it's yeah. a Smock Tech mini VV Nova tank. Um, there it is. Um, going to point out straight away, guys, we did get this free um, for the purposes of doing a review on it, but it's not going to reflect on what we say and how we review it. We will be honest as we always are um so that's out of the way we're away. we are going to be mainly comparing this to the, obviously the standard the standard nova. nova yeah normal nova that we've been using and uh basically telling people to get because it's good so if you've been re if you've been watching our videos you know how much we compare to the nova we love, we love it after nova so, so this is a good step up but yeah guys go on and check out um smokeshop.com not code uk smokeshop.com um S M O K S A S H O P dot C O M. We're gonna link it for you, you know, just so you can have a look. They've got quite a lot of stuff on there, fairly reasonably priced. Um nice price on e-liquids as well actually. Five for twenty mil. Yeah. Buy two and you get delivery for free as well. So that's quite a nice range as well. Good. We've got a lot of stuff on there. Um and you've got your your Nova's, you've got quite a few batteries, you've got a gripper and you've got the V Max and that kind of stuff on there. So go on and check them out, guys, by all means, please do. Um we're gonna crack straight on with this. All right, we're gonna open it up. I say we haven't used it at all. Open it up. Give you our first impressions and we're going to see how it goes. Okay. Uh, we obviously had, I'm going to read out the little bit on the front. It says the mini Nova tank from Smock Tech has new arrived in a, in a bit, 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 in a spring loaded by 10 battery connection. Basically the uh, bottom apparently is spring loaded. Spring loaded so sorry. it will connect to more devices. The ones that have been struggling basically. Find out. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what else is it? It comes with obviously uh, three, own, three eight heads, which is 1.8, 2.4, and a three, three own instead of a 2.8. So that's a couple of, like, a couple of differences we've noticed straight off the back because it's perfect for various voltage combinations and plenty of various different batteries. Okay, we, we kind of know that. Okay, so basically, oh, oh it's white. It's white. <laughs> it's not black, it's white. Um, okay, basically, oh, let's have a look. We've got a Nova, I'm guessing 2.4 in there. It is, it is 2.4 in there, and you've got a couple of spare 80 heads in a nice little sort of foam boxy thing there. We're not going to use them at a minute. Um, get this out. Straight away, I mean, I've had a little look at this, we're not going to lie. Um, straight away, nice clear tip, um, which is, well, to be honest with you, the Smock Tech uh, DCT tanks have this same tip, the new version. So obviously, this is their, their kind of uh, tip. If you go like to tip. Go to tip, but you like this, didn't you? You quite like this tip. I, I do quite like the tip. I, I don't mind the tip, it's slightly longer than I'd like it to be if I'm perfectly honest with you. But it's realistically, it's only about two mil longer, but just, I don't know, it doesn't feel as, as normal in your mouth. But um, I replace all my drip tips anyway with what I like, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to basically pull this apart quickly. I'm going to go into what I focus. Uh, manual focus. Um, okay, basically, off the, off the bat. Straight away, it's different now. You haven't got that well anymore. Do you want to focus that a bit more? There you go. You haven't got that well anymore. Uh, it's now a solid base that makes connection with the top of the AT. So that's a new way of doing it from what we've seen. Um, it is very, very similar uh, to the new dual coil Nova that's out there. Um, the tank is a standard Nova tank, but that that is slightly bigger. You've got, a slightly C, you've got an SDV tank we can compare this to. It's, sorry, guys. Slightly longer than your normal normal tank uh, only by a wee bit but it is a slightly bit longer I don't know what difference that actually makes I think um, it's where because on the top of the head you've got that plinth that comes down I know you can't really see me but a plinth that comes down on the bottom there you can see it just raised down a little bit that probably compensates for that so the extra length in this um, so that's that uh, I do want to say that the 2.4 heads and also the 1.8 and the 3 are all two wick as opposed to the uh, sort of four that they did have, so yes. don't know what that's going to do for wicking. And also, the top of the eight your head is like a V3 as opposed to the Nova as a traditional well with no prong sticking up. Obviously, again, it's the, for the for the new top. And uh, that uh, positive connection, uh, uh, which I am going to show you right now, is shorter. The positive, hey, it's slightly shorter, isn't it? Oh yes, the stem in the middle. The, the is stem slightly is shorter. slightly shorter. Um, also, I do want to point out here is your adjustable centre pin, and you push it in, and it in it goes. It's, it's, it's actually pretty cool that. Um, so you shouldn't struggle with any device. And obviously, as you screw it on further and further, that's going to push down and give you a perfect connection every time. So that's definitely a thumbs up on that. That's that's pretty cool that they've done that. Uh, we're going to bring it back out to us now. We're going to show you how to fit it. Obviously, most of you guys know how to do this with a Nova, but we'll show you how to fit it anyway. Um, and we're going to see how we go. Uh, I don't know. Pick a juice and we'll run with it. Shall we go with the sort of metal we got? 
Let's go with strawberry maple. We've got some strawberry maple we're um, in there. Okay, basically, with these wicks, I do like to throw them out slightly, same as I did on the 2.8s with the Nova, the other Novas that I've got, purely because they do seem to wick slightly better. So if this now floods, it's my fault, all right? It's just, um, through past experience, I do fluff these wicks out slightly. Um, obviously, tank has got a way up that it goes around. Hopefully, that's going to focus. Uh, it's kind of doing its job. Uh, but you've got markings on the tank, so obviously make sure the markings are upside down. I wouldn't imagine it's going to affect how it performs, but obviously you're not being able to measure your, your juice in there accurately. Something to think about. Uh, this does come in a very different colours. It does seem colors, slightly wider like, for most Novas. It is slightly wider, that I think. Does, that does seem like you've got a bigger gap there to pull your juice down, um, which is pretty cool, actually, because the Novas, even the Novas now and again did suffer with the amount of gap they had with the slightly wider neck bottles. Yeah, this does come in a various range of colours, like the slightly greyed out black, they call it, uh, the clear, yellow, green, purple, blue, pink, and orange. So there's plenty of eight colours, in fact. Is it eight? It yeah. Is, no, it's nine. No, it's not nine. Well, One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Yeah. I'm guessing number seven got removed from the list for whatever reason. So eight colours in total, which is pretty cool. No metal tanks or anything for these uh, as of yet, but to be honest with you, you don't really need it. I'm guessing polycarbonate and not poly, uh, polypropane. Polypropane? Polypropylene. 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 It's not polypropylene, it's polycarbonate. Um, so beware of some of them juices, guys, your main citrus ones and your. your uh, Play out fluid cinnamon. Motors, cinnamon as well. Um, may crack them. I do want to say though, I've been using Novas for quite a long time, so as well. We've never had a cracked tank on any juice that we've used, and we do use a lot of fruit and citrus flavors. Yes. So, but bear in mind, polycarbonate. I'm guessing the only reason could I'm, happen, but this may be polypropylene. If it is, I hope I'm corrected. Um, the only reason I'm saying I'm guessing it's polycarbonate or polypropylene is because if it's polypropylene, I'd imagine that'd be a selling feature, and it'd be included in the write up about it, and it isn't. As it never is, so always assume if it's not got poly uh, propylene in the right up, it is polycarbonate. All right, basically, guys, show you how to fill this. It's just down the side, fairly simple to do. Don't flood it. I'm not <laughs> gonna flood it. He always floods them. I don't. That's how he uses his nose. He floods them. That's a... There we go. Right, that's a full no, but it's qu there's quite a big gap there, isn't yeah. there, compared to the other ones. But that's not a bad thing. You've got plenty of room for that juice to move around. Make sure you're not going to suffer from any weakening issues. Hopefully, yeah, um, and then I'll solve the little. <clears throat> Occasional dry hits you did get on Nova, but it wasn't that many to worry about. It was mainly when you do it by low. It's very rarely on Nova. It's usually when you got down to sort of here on the tank, very, very low. Um, so hopefully this lives up to that. Obviously, adjustable centre pin, so that's going to be wicked. I think we'll test the ohms on this to start with. Just to make sure it is a 2.4. <coughs> We've noticed with a lot of um, these atomizers from other places uh, that they aren't true. I I hope you guys can make that out, but 4.6, 2.4, that is bang on what it should be. So we're going to... What gonna... can you say? Excellent job. Oh, that's nice and noisy. Um, I do like the noise. Some people don't, but it is nice for you me. Like anyway. mm. It's just going to prime that now. Uh, what else did we have? Uh... Sorry, guys. Price on this. 9.99. So I do want to point out as well, this is a Smoktek Mini BB Nova. I know that is not a Mini BB Nova. It is a Smoktek Mini BB Nova, but... As opposed to a lot of other companies that sell you a mini and a normal, you have a choice on this. You've got not only a colour choice, but you can choose whether you want it in two and a half, or this is the giant three and a half mil tank. So uh, thumbs up for that. That's nice. It's just basically a normal giant mini, which is basically a normal. I'm not used to seeing that much space when I've got a full Nova. No, I'm not <laughs> used to seeing that. The wick is sucking out just up nice. So I'm going to prime this whilst well and flaps on a wee bit. Uh, yeah, so obviously, like Mr. Brown said, like 999, and I think the other one is, I think it's 50 pg but yeah, 949 for the uh, standard 2.5. So obviously, then you've got the color ranges, obviously, they come in everything for everything. So you've got very ch uh, choice in colors and size that you want. So, but uh, I think the main selling thing on this thing is the adjustable center pin. I mean, it's it's, it's a, a very nice feature that these don't, the tanks this price don't usually have. Especially for a £10 Nova tank. Which I'm assuming is going to perform the same as Nova, if not better, mm -hmm. because hopefully they've sorted out some of those wicking issues, and maybe they've, maybe the, this wick is maybe a little bit better quality wick. Or I, I don't know. It could be anything that changes the flavour. We've tried one dripper with the same wick and same cap ball in another dripper, and it's just totally different depending on the dripper. So maybe this is just going to sort out some problems and see what's going on. How's that working through? Have a go. Um, okay. First impressions, that's actually very good uh, for me anyway, I believe. Um, the wicking issues with the old, or the Anovas that I've used, we'll go with that, um, the ones that I bought from another website. Um, the 2.8 eight heads, I was never a big fan of, and I used 2.4, but I'm comparing them because of the wicks at the style, as opposed to the 
um, four whips, it's just got one whip either side. Um, the ones that I used on the 2.8s always seem to taste slightly different to the 2.4s. They almost seem muted. Um, the taste wasn't as strong and the vapor wasn't as good. Um, with this, that doesn't seem to be the case. That tastes just the same in that. Um, so that's actually quite a nice vape. The head on that does actually seem to work better than it did on the Kyoto tank I had, maybe because Definitely. the Kyoto tank was more square. Um, so I actually quite like that head on now. Um, the flavour is, is actually very good. That's, that seems better than a normal Nova. That's, that's better than what I was expecting it to be, if I'm honest with you. I mean, you should bear in mind that Worm and I have been using uh, this, R, I've been using this RSST Genesis tank on still metal mesh. And I've been talking to Worm has been using, or the minute, Baron. an E-Baron. So we expected to jump into an Nova and be like, we're not going to be able to taste much. I can actually taste that, and the menthol's coming through quite nicely. The strawberries, nice. the strawberries there as well. Hmm. Um, that is actually pretty good. To guys who regularly watch us, I know you've seen us do a Nova review, but like I say, this is a different style of Nova. Um, sound about over with a little bit there, mate? No? Just a gurgle. I think it's just a gurgle. I think it's just a gurgle. Like I say, if this does over slightly... I'll turn the bottle jump a bit, so I'm going to be right in okay. Um, if this does gurgle slightly, it's probably my fault. I did rough them wicks up, but that's just, I'm used to doing that with a Nova. Where these have got more room in between the wicks and stuff, you're not getting any liquid or nothing, mate? Just a little gurgle. Okay, um, where this has got more room for them to move yeah. around, maybe it wasn't advisable to do that, but... I think it's just where I turned the voltage off a bit, it was just sucking up a little bit more juice to get the... Uh, what, do you, what do you reckon, what's your initial impressions of mate? Um, the initial impressions, I mean, like, um, looks, it just looks like another Nova, to be honest, it's just slightly bigger. We were doing five, we five no, no, I'm just dollars. saying, like, oh, right. um, and overall, yeah, it just seems to be performing just a little bit better than a normal Nova. I wouldn't say it's miles what above... Yeah, just slightly. You think it's only slightly better? Yeah, I mean, I, I was using another earlier though, so... Yeah. Um, definitely the wicking is a lot better on that one for some reason. I don't know why. Right. Maybe it's the, the, the... Obviously the two bits... Of, is it one bit? It's one bit. You fluffed it out, yeah. I, right. I, I fluffed it out, so the wicking is going to... To be honest, I think this may be slightly over wicking, but again, my fault. Um, but it's not flooding by any means. It's just got a fraction of a gurgle now and again. Yeah, I mean, So no biggie on that. Um... I do have to disagree though. I think the things might well. Look at the vapor of that. I didn't tell you about vapor, but I'm talking about flavour, mate. That's a Jenny tank. I think the flavour's better than normal over. Yeah, I think it is better. I do want to point out. I don't think it's that I've put two point eight mil of juice and we're down to one point six already. So that is um, definitely wicking hard. It's definitely wicking hard. Don't get me wrong, the wicks are gonna suck up a lot of juice anyway because they're dry when you first put them in, but mate, I, th I think flavour. A lot better. Yeah, I do. I think that's a I mean, the, 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 the draw seems slightly looser, which is good for me because we've been using very airy. Probably because devices. I've been using a quite a high menthol at the moment, so mm, I'm yeah. gonna have a quick drink and then uh, try to test it again. Yeah, I'll definitely say the loo I'll take it off, Yeah, come. On. Definitely say the um, the draw is slightly looser than normal. I was using uh, standard Nova STB at work earlier, um, and the draw definitely seems a bit looser on that. The vapour does feel lovely and thick compared to the Nova I was using earlier. It's definitely thicker. It's the the vapour is definitely thicker. Obviously, your your, your vaporizer more liquid, obviously, to get a thicker vapour. But for me, that's a good thing. After moving on to the RBAs and the trippers and stuff, um, the Novas have almost been lacking recently. Um, their um, sort of out of ten ratings we gave them in the last review, the first review of the Nova, have knocked down, um, not considerably, but a fair bit because. The stuff we've been using, honestly, I expected this to sort of not have a punch at all, flavour not be great because of what we've been using today, and we have been using them hard as well this afternoon. So that is actually coming through now. It's, so I mean, it may have been a slight bending issue when I was just obviously using it a bit more because I've apparently only had a few pulls off it. But yeah, I, I, the flavour is definitely better, and so is the vapour production at the moment. I mean, that's not even properly bedded in yet. That is literally, we filled it up and you saw us. So initially, this is um, the new Nova. <laughs> the new Nova. The vapor is actually, I'm really impressed. I know we're indoors and when you're outside, things are reflected, but a friend of mine's been using a Nova recently, and I've been having a few puffs on here. It's so not quite as high voltage as this, but lower ohm atomizer. And the draw's been quite uncomfortably tight for me, uh, and also the vapor has not been fantastic. Whereas this is. Um, it's a nice airy draw. This is actually quite a decent draw, and it's a nice flavor of this. I'm actually really impressed. Uh, I'd say it's kind of in your midway between a, like, um, a Genesis style draw and a Nova. 
the old V3 style draw. It's kind of midway in between there, it's slightly more. I'll, I'll say it's so eerily and noble, but it's not quite, it's nowhere near as eerily as a Jenny. No, no, it's, no. Um, maybe between the Total Luca DDA and the Nova? Something like that? Maybe, yeah. Probably something like that. But it obviously is area than the normal Nova, the standard mm -hmm. one. But this uh, Smock Tech Mini Nova, which well, it isn't a Mini, but it, it is under their Mini category. I think it's because it's a Mini. It's a giant mini. mini. It's a giant Mini, basically. Yeah, that's how they're categorising it on their site. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice little tank for repair, uh, re replaceable, which obviously you can repair because you can take those A heads apart, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's just, I think what you've basically got sure. there is a Nova. One of these. What you've got there, it's going to be the same. It's a Nova um, base with, with kind of like a V3 silicon. That is slightly thing. different. They're kind of, oh, they are slightly different for sure. They are slightly different. We will have a little we'll update have a on these. Cut. Um, we will update this. So we, do, we try and do updates, especially on this kind of product. Um, initial impressions, I think, are always different to living with it. So we are going to live with this a bit. Usually, when I get to something like this to review, uh, even with the Oculus 16, which is really good, kind of like, yeah, we're going to live with it for a bit and whatever else. I, I think I'm actually going to use this at work tomorrow. Yeah, I think I'm going to use this work tomorrow. Um, I haven't used anything apart from a drip at work for at least four weeks. So for it, for me to say that, it's got to be pretty good, um, I think, anyway. So I'm actually going to use this work. Should we get on to our little fire point? Yeah, we've done our fire point thing. No, then you go first one. Uh, it looks, well, it looks just as good as any other Nova. It's just slightly longer. Mm. Oh, I, I mean, it's, it's a the nine. The difference is fractional, though, isn't it? It's, it's a nine out of looks. It's just, it's just slightly longer, and it's got a different drip tip on as standard, but... Like we say, you can paint any drip tip in there you want. I mean, where's one of yours? You've probably got that 10 handy. I think one will do. There you go. I actually quite like it. That's, nice. That's actually really good. So, yeah, looks, it's a 9. I mean, if you put your drip, it might go up for you personally, but it looks like standard as any other Nova, really. I mean, it would be nice. I think it would be nice in an SDV case, but no, that may be coming. So, yeah, these you don't know. Uh, looks for me. It is just a standard looking sort of Nova, to be honest with you. And we rate that at about an eight last time for a standard looking one, about a ten for about an eight or nine or ten for a, a nine, um, an STV. Sorry, for me, if this was the old school Nova with a black tip, looks would have been like six and a half, seven. I'm not a big fan of the clear tank thing, but because it comes with a clear tip and a clear tank, um, it looks better. I'm, yeah, I think that's like a sort of an eight or a nine, to be honest with you. For looks, it's actually quite a nice. That all does blend quite nicely. Um, so yeah, it looks for me definitely sort of an eight, eight and a half. I think um, it's going to look good looks. on pretty much any device you've got, really. Mm. And especially with that adjustable um, 510 connection now, which obviously is spring-loaded. So you haven't actually got to adjust it manually. No. You can just let it do its thing. It will connect to all your devices, especially those ones that were struggling with it. You're yeah. going to be fine now. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Because it does um, poke out, what, two, three mil? Uh, well, let's have a look. Here we are. So that's about two, two and a half mil right there. There you go. So um, you've got two and a half mil, which will spring back in anyway. So, but it will go right up into the. How tight is that spring? Just so if you. What when you screw it on? Yeah, no, but when you just push it. Uh, well, I mean, what we're doing on a scale of one to ten, it's fairly. Uh, um, it's fairly. It's not super loose, but it's tight enough for it to it's be. It's resistant, but it's not gonna like. It's not the falling device. out. Put it that way, but it's, it's not, not gonna damage the device. You can screw that on quite happily. It's tight as you want to go. It's gonna and be. It's gonna be absolutely fine. It's gonna push up into that obviously five ten connection. So yeah, you are gonna be good. Um, so it looks, yeah. yeah, it looks to me eight and a half. I do actually really. I wasn't a big fan of this tip on the uh, DCT tank, um, purely because I didn't think it matched really. Um, unless you got the and you had a red tank, and I had a red tank, which <laughs> made it even worse. Yeah, but um, DCT tank wasn't a big fan of this. But I actually think that and that looks quite nice. I don't think I'd want a DC, I don't think I'd want an STV tank on that. No, I'm quite happy with that tank. Well, there you so, go. Yeah. So I think it looked nice with an STV tank, but then change your drip tip, you might change your view again. Um, obviously, we can't try that because it doesn't fit. <laughs> so, there we go. Um, what's next? Is it usability? Usability. Well, it's an over. It's replace the head, you wash it out, put liquid in it. 10. Usab usability, to be honest with you, one of the easiest devices we find to use is the Nova in general, and it's one of the easiest ones you can get new vapors to use as well because it's so simple. The adaptations they've made to this one with the adjustable centre pin, in case you had a battery with a sort of dodgier pin, um, the fact you have got even more room now to drip that juice down, um, and just all round, it's, it's just, well, yeah, usability to 10, it's, it doesn't really get much easier, to be honest with you. you just well, you see, you put your juice in and you're vaping. Literally, open it and put it in and you're gone. You, that is as simple as that can be. So, yeah, usability for me is a 10. It's very, very easy to use. Maintenance. I mean, we always do two on this because obviously it is not a true rebuildable, but you can. We're assuming that they're slightly different bases on them, but we're assuming they can just be pulled out and 
you can do the same thing. Again, we've all watched to do a video on this, uh, re-wicking, because uh, that's what we kind of do. Um, but maintenance on that is literally going to be washing it or screwing in a new head. Two screws. Or possibly re-wicking your own heads. Like, so we haven't taken these apart yet. We don't know if you can re-wick these. Yeah. But possibly re-wicking your own heads. I would imagine you can wick your own heads. Yes. I, I'm fairly confident in saying that. Yeah. We're, we're both very good. So I'm going to say if you're just using it as a replaceable atomizer, 10. Maintenance. If you're using it as replacing your own coils, 9.5. Because the only difficult bit you've got to overcome is wicking your, uh, putting the coil around your wick and not getting it too tight. And that's not a reflection on this, that's a reflection on you, you guys. So Sorry. it's one of them ones. Um, maintenance for me, yeah, it's, just, it's, a, it's a solid 10. It's very, very easy to use. You just literally wash it, literally drip tip off, top off, uh, bottom off. You wash it all. You could, you could basically do the same thing. Tank, uh, sorry, a in uh, vodka after a week, put a new one in, and work those two on a rotation. It's very easy to use this, uh, no, but they always have been. I think it's part of their charm. Uh, on you the see how much the uh, replaceable that much? Because obviously they're different than the normal Novas. I think it was two fifty, wasn't it? I think they were two pound. If you have a little look, um, but yeah, it's, it's for maintenance. This is just very, very, very easy. It's just literally rinsing it all and putting it back together. It can't realistically be much uh, harder yeah, than that. Two pound. Two pound for a new eighty heads. It's actually even cheaper than mm. the Nova that we've been used to. Um, which is obviously a big, big thumbs up. Um, obviously, we haven't seen this anywhere else yet. Not the Smock Tech one, no. no. Um, I mean, you do get a lot of VV Novas that are VV Novas, um, and they you don't know who they're made by, um, realistically, but these are VV Novas, it quite clearly states Smock up the top. Um, they're fairly well established companies like uh, Smock Tech, so they don't need to try and make a really, really nice company. Side. They can make their own version, which they have done, obviously. Um, but this, this smock shop is a very it's a very presentable site, very neat site. Oh, I will say the delivery come next day as well. So mm. the, obviously the deliveries are very reliable as well. Yep. Good on that as well. So and lovely cheap e liquid prices. Um a flavour and vapour would be our next category. Well flavour we said is um it is better than the the standard Nova. I don't quite want to say how much yet, but it is better. It's the, it's the Off standard it is better, but obviously the review will go more into that, obviously how it beds in and quite nicely. I mean at the moment, compared to normal Nova would we rate normal Nova as like eight? I think eight. Yeah, I think. Oh, now, now I would rate the normal Nova uh, about, about seven. a seven. Yeah, and this would be about an eight point five at the moment. Eight point five to nine. It's actually it's a very very good flavour. Go on, what you what you have for vapour? Uh, vapour, it's it's a nice amount. It feels thicker than the normal Nova. It does. It just the the the, the flavour just seems to get round your whole mouth because the vapour just seems thicker and everywhere. So again, I mean if. It was going back to normal over that I'll put that back down to like a seven because that was on par with the uh, flavor again and I'll put this up to an eight point five as well. So again really, really, really good. So um, you yeah. Yeah. I mean, um a flavor for me if a normal number is a seven, bearing in mind we've been using RBAs and DDAs and stuff all day, I'd say that's a nine. That's a really, really good flavour for this kind of clearomizer compared to the Novas that we've actually already got. Compared to the one that I've got sat there right in front of me over there, um, that is knocking that flavour out of the water. To be honest with you, that's that's a nine for me. That flavour, um, it's actually very very good. Um, vapor, well, we will show you the memento. Oh, vapor is very impressive um, compared to the, the, again the STV note that we've got. It's very very impressive actually. Um, should I get my number right? Just to be yeah, just I mean, if, you're, if you've got all my number right Yeah. All right. Um, vapor for me is a nine and a half. That's the Nova. I'll do. That's a Jenny tank and a Genesis style tank. It's an RSST tank. Um, I do want to point out that this is a two point four ohm head. That is a one point one ohm coil. Both that's running on about 3.9 volts. This is on 4.2, so it's reflective. I will say I'm getting compared to that, the flavour is just not there like it is on that. So they're closer in vapour than our own flavour, but I still think this beats that because it feels. I mean, with vapour, it's hard to tell on video because they always look more. But this is a definitely much thicker, nicer vapour, and I do want to say that's not because they're liquid because these liquids are all 50/50s that we're using. Um, so bear that in mind, and that is also a one point out or two before. Three oh. Uh, did you wrap it? Yes. How many pieces of it? Two. So that's two wick. 
and it's a 3 ohm coil running on like 4.4. So yeah, yeah, 4.4. It's a, uh, it's not as it's, that that is not as good as this is. So flavor and vapor for me, flavor it's like a nine, vapor's 9.5, and for for what this is compared to like the Jenny style tanks and stuff we've been using, this is tens. It's very very. I mean, like Worm just said, the flavor in that is not even comparable to the flavor in this, and I agree with him. Um, and the vapor of this is definitely definitely thicker and nicer. So overall, overall, um, I'm too. Two kind of numbers on this compared to the, the other Nova. Other Nova being an overall of about a seven now, because obviously this device that's a nine. Overall for me, you have got to consider the price because um, it is a tenner, and you get three heads with it, and you get your drip tip, you get everything you're going to need, barring the juice, which you can get for another tenner. It's going to do you for a month, isn't it? Well, another tenner, you get two bottles of juice off them, forty mil. Um, and then you get yourself a battery, like even the, I think they call it the what's the battery called? It's not a Swiss or a spinner. It's called the Winder, but it's going to be very similar to the, the spinner and stuff. Um, that's twenty three ninety nine. That and a charger, a fiver. So you're talking fifty quid, and you've got a Nova, three eighty heads, forty mil of juice, and a variable voltage um, Ego or Ego style battery, um, and you're vaping. And with this, you're vaping well. You are vaping well. Overall, for me, this thing's like a nine. It's very, very good. Very good. I'm really impressed. And the fact you can get it all in colours and you can choose two and a half and three and a half mil um, is good because the standard mini Nova that you see on a lot of sites is just two mil. So even with a mini, you're holding nearly the same as what a normal Nova does. This does claim three and a half mil and there it says 2.8. Realistically, I wouldn't go above 2.8 because if you have a look. The, the yeah, I wouldn't mind you focusing that for me. There you go. If you have a look, 2.8 is literally just underneath where the wicks are. I think if you did that much more than that, you may have a flooding issue. But to be honest, you're three mil in a tank, and when you've got that much air to move your liquid around, you're not going to suffer dry hits. And three mil is a good, solid, long vape. Um, ignore the fact that we've done like half a tank because we've just filled it, so the wicks are going on and absorb like that liquid. If you had prime wicks and you bunged three mil in there, you should be good for a day at work. Happily, easily, yeah, very, very happily. Unless you can vape all day at work, then obviously it may last you six, seven hours. But then carry a five mil bottle of juice, and you've got like eight mil in yeah, total. You're so go, you're, I mean. you're, very, you're definitely good to go. If you're if you are starting out vaping, this is perfect, absolutely perfect. Um, they you can get the cones that blend your um, ego threaded batteries to the bottom of your Nova, um, and they do sell those on smokeshop.com as well. Uh, so definitely. I do want to point out as well. I know we're not doing a review on this, but they're um. Winder batteries, which are basically the version of the twist, um, they are like a shiny metallic colour. They're not like the they're flat matte blacks or rubberized or anything like that. They look very nice. I mean, they might scratch up a little bit, but the uh, the rubberized ones scratch up a lot. And um, to be honest, I, I quite like the colours on there, and they're quite nice. So you might want to check them out as well if you're going to buy your whole kit. They actually are quite nice, and they are one thousand one hundred more which is pretty good. Um, so yeah, actually, to be honest with you, I wasn't expecting greatness when we, we first picked this up. And we are about to review another Nova. So this is going to be interesting because we was thought that was going to be a smash in the other Nova. Compared to this, I don't know if that uh, this new Nova is going to do quite as well as we thought. Um, I'm very, very happy with this actually. I'm going to, have to I'm going to, I'm, I'm genuinely going to use this tomorrow at work and we are going to update you just to make sure things don't change because you know sometimes they can. Um, but I'm very, very, very happy with how this is performing. Seeing as I thought I knew a, new, a Nova inside out because it's what we used solidly for about two months when we started vaping. We went from C5s or V3s, whatever you want to call them, vision replaceables, onto the Novas. And we kind of know Novas inside out. And this, is a, bit, Novas and this is a bit out of left field because neither either of us was expecting this to perform any better than the sort of normal Nova. Throws a curveball. Yeah, you have thrown as a curveball um, smoke shop. I don't know so, what they've done to it, but they have. Them little tweaks have obviously made a difference because they do see. Maybe because you've got more air in a chamber. You've, I, don't, I, I don't know what it is, but that's that's actually definitely an improvement on the original Nova. Um, so I'm I actually the main really, thing really is that pin, I love that pin idea. Yeah, I think that is a wicked addition. It, I think that should be on every device. I mean, if every device done that, you would, no nobody would have to suffer with the uh, tanks or cartos or any kind of system that isn't going to put on any battery. 
I also want to point out that there, are, there is a big site we have mentioned quite a bit in our other videos. I'm not going to name it in this site because it's basically slandering them. But they are selling the normal Nova with this tank, the old school drip tip, without the 510 connection in a kit for like 11.50. And you're not getting this drip tip that matches the body color. You aren't getting as many color choices. You're not getting an adjustable center pin. And uh, the build quality from that particular site didn't seem quite as good as the ones we yeah. bought from somewhere else. So for one pound fifty less, um, better price. Really, really good stuff. Um, I think our review on the Nova is kind of wrapped up, but I do want to take a minute to thank um, Smokeshop.com and so does Worm, obviously, for sending us this down to do a review on. Oh, um, very grateful. I'm ex extremely grateful. I, I, I spoke to Kevin at Smokeshop.com, uh, had a couple of emails and that, and he said, "We'll send you a, uh, we'll send you a, um, a mini Nova." And when when he said that, I was expecting the sort of the mini Nova, Nova we was we was used to the two mil mini Nova, um, and went onto the site and kind of went, "Ooh, um, that's a bit different." Kind of wasn't expecting that, so I wonder if we're getting two and a half, three and a half mil. Didn't really know what, what the what the situation was going to be. Three and a half mil came, and I'm actually really, really glad that um, you sent this to us, Kevin, because um, I'm definitely going to be recommending guys. that people come to Smock Shop to get this over the Nova that I've actually just literally today recommended someone buys because they're starting vaping. I literally <laughs> recommend they just bought it as well. Uh, <laughs> <what? laughs> but um, no, I'll definitely be recommending that people start with this one because it actually performs better than the Nova that I. I'm used to, and you are used to. Yeah. But a big, big, massive thank you to Kevin for taking the time tonight to uh, to talk to uh, to talk to us, but also to the effort and the fact that he sent this down to us free of charge for us to do a review on. Um, and I'm incredibly glad you did because I think it's changed our opinion of the Nova a little bit. It's improved it. <laughs> yeah, it has. Yeah, this is definitely an improvement on the um. It's the other Nova. back to life for us. Yeah. Well, the thing is, we were looking at um, we've been looking recently at like Bo Carto tanks. Um, as our out and about vape, because the Novas just weren't performing like they used to. You get used to the Nova, then you move on to something else and think, wow, that's amazing, and something else and think, wow, that's amazing. And then you go back to something you was using a long time ago, which for us was a Nova, and you think, it just doesn't meet the grade anymore. Whereas this, to be honest with you, is. I, I, I'm definitely taking this to work tomorrow. Definitely taking this to work tomorrow. I'm going to use and abuse this just to see how it stacks up to make sure that the, um, the initial impressions aren't sort of then thrown out the window by living with it. But to be honest with you, it's a Nova. It's not hard to live with. I can't see these changing. And this coil's not probably better than yet. Give it another round, it will be. Um, yeah, very, very happy. The power is working out. Sorry, guys, phone's ringing. Um, cancel that call. Yeah, very, very happy about this. I was working out. And again, a massive thanks to... What is he? Hey, hey, guys. He has that thing on silent all the time. So when I call him, oh, sorry, it was on silent. Didn't know he was calling. Give us a call back. One time we're doing a video, it's on loud. <laughs> what the hell? Um, but yeah, no, massive thanks to the guys at smockshop.com. Um, please go through, feel free to go and check them guys out. They've actually got some really nice products. Um, their site is beautiful as well. It's like a very out. nicely laid out site, actually. It's, it's, it's very not very it's just yeah, it's a very subtle site. It's almost like wallpaper at the front. <laughs> uh, if you want to know what I mean, then go and check it out. Um, and obviously, we are going to link that in the description below for you to do so um, when we upload this video. Um, I think we're kind of coming to an end now, yeah, guys. I mean, Another big thank you to Kevin at um, Smock Shop and Smock Shop. Thank you very much, mate. It was a um, beautiful little product you sent us. Yeah, we're actually, I'm really, when you said I'll get sent you a Nova, I thought, oh, well, I kind of know what Nova's are like, but obviously. I think he's obviously watched our videos. Obviously, I didn't, um, because this this is definitely an improvement on the Nova that I know and loved. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you very much. Um, all right, guys, I have been Mr. Proton. He has been the worm. Cheers for watching you guys, and we will catch you very, very soon. Yeah, see you later, guys. See you later, guys.